Hey, man. Hey, man. Nice to meet you. You too. So, the, I've got to kick off right with a voice. Yeah. How, when did you know you had it right? When? How, how, how long did you have to practice to get it just right for Batman? Like 40 years. Stop it. Yeah. <laughs> um... <laughs> No, you know when we made the first movie, right? Uh, we had, we, you know, Phil Lord and Chris Miller directed the the Lego Movie, and we spent a few sessions trying to like really find the sweet spot for the voice. And uh, then once we had it, we kind of were like, all right, this is it. Like appropriate amount of Batman voice, and also kind of, uh, kind of goofy, and you know, all those things put together. How much fun was it to do this movie? I, I love it, by the way. It's really good. Oh, cool. It's fantastic. But I can't even imagine how much fun you had actually working on it. It's really, really fun. You know, it's making a movie like this, these animated things, you, there's a lot of a lot goes into it. And there's so many hundreds of people who deserve credit, and but I won't give it to them. Um, <laughs> and and uh, who, people who work really hard. So it, it is such a over, you know, we worked on this for a couple of years. So really, like like Lego, we're building it as we go, and it's really really cool to see it kind of come together. Did you play with Legos growing up? I did. Did you really? Yeah. I'm, I'm not patient. I can't do the whole. Really? Yeah, I can't do it. I lo I loved Lego because for the for the reason of I like getting a new set. Like you'd see the picture on the box, and be like, I want to make that. Then I'd make it, and then you start I start goofing around and making it my own, and I always loved that process. How different is this Batman story than the ones we've come to know over the years? Well, I think that this story is different in that for the first time we maybe get more deeper into why Batman is so... Why is the Dark Knight? Why is he so upset? What's he so... I mean, guys, he's a billionaire playboy. Right. You know, he should be psyched. <laughs> he should be like... You know, he, he should have a, a cast on his arm from high-fiving people all the time. Uh, and I think, you know, we're probably the first movie to like really get into what makes him tick. How much improv did you get to do? In your a lot. Time? We got to do really? a lot of improv, yeah. Uh, it was great. It was a really fun process. You know, whether it was me and the other actor. You know, I didn't work a lot with the other actors uh, in terms of recording. Zach and I did a little bit. Rosario and I did a little bit. Um, actually, Zach and I did a fair bit of our, our stuff together. Um, so we got to improvise. But throughout the course of it, Chris McKay and I, you know, the director, he and I would just go for like three, four hours per session over a couple like a lot and build as we're in there like oh that's funny or that's a good idea and we just go in that direction and just keep going do you ever just use the voice like for friends or I would actually go through a drive through yeah if I were you <laughs> I've done it before to like order Chinese food um, that's always fun and like uh, let me get a Singapore noodle you know and I love it when people just don't even give you any reaction to it at all they're like oh this guy's that's his voice um, <laughs> and I also use it to threaten my children but that's appropriate. <laughs>